gonna butcher this name, but I am I'm gonna try. Locusts is a 2005 science fiction. I don't know if they also put horror in there, but anyway, a 2005 movie starring the one and only Lucy Lawless. And she plays a character, Dr. Maddie Reardon. She's an investigator for the uh, Department of Agriculture. Uh, there's another scientist played by father from Home Alone, also known as John Hurd. And uh, he bioengineers these super locusts. They don't need as much time to breed. They can fly faster, I think. And then uh, you can't kill them with pesticides. So poisons don't work. And when Mary finds out that he's doing this, she shut, shuts down the place and orders to kill all the locusts. But of course, some of them get away. Actually, there's some guy who puts them, puts some of them in a canister. A couple escape, and uh, and he takes the rest of them to some military personnel, and the canister gets broken, and now there are two locusts in both sides of the country. So this is a very B-movie type script and uh, when there are a lot of locusts, when they are flying in a swarm, it, it does look fairly cheap. IMBD says that the budget was 6 million, so it wasn't small, but some of the special effects are not great. So now that there are these two huge swarms of locusts, and they are coming towards each other to create this one super swarm. Now, of course, military is part of the is part of the group that tries to stop these locusts, and they plan to use a nerve gas that would kill people. And of course, Maddie Reardon doesn't think that it's a good idea. As I said, this feels like a P-movie, and it is. Uh, there's also these side plots, you know. Maddie Reardon has trouble with his husband. She gets pregnant. And this is a minor spoiler. The father from Home Alone dies, and he dies, you know, basically saving Lucy Lawless character, her father and her husband. And also kills a bunch of locusts as well. And that was a kind of cliche as well. The rating for this movie... I would say that if you're not a fan of Lucy Lawless or you don't have any other special ac actor in there, it's a two and a half stars out of five. But me as a Lucy Lawless fan, I'm gonna give this movie three stars out of five. Just because this is one of two movies that actually has Lucy Lawless as the main character.